In my opinion, Obsidian is vastly underrated as a writing app. It's fast, it's clean, it supports standard markdown formatting, and it uses plain text files so your writing is completely future-proof. Plus, the plugin ecosystem allows you to customize the app to fit your ideal writing workflow, which is exactly what I've done, because getting words on the page is only part of the process. When it comes to managing your writing projects, you need a little more than just a folder full of your markdown files. Fortunately, with a few plugins and some simple settings, Obsidian is actually pretty great for managing the other aspects of my creative writing workflows as well. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I manage all of my creative projects in Obsidian. Let's start though by talking a little bit about the creative process, because the basis of any creative project is writing. It doesn't matter what format the final version will end up being, an article on my blog, a newsletter, a YouTube video like this one, Every creative project I engage with begins life as a text-based idea. And as those ideas get developed, they go through several stages. So first, the idea, which is something that resonates with me, gets captured, usually using drafts on my iPhone. After giving it some time, I curate the really good ideas and send them over to Obsidian. Once in Obsidian, I cultivate those ideas and develop them further, usually by mind mapping in MindNode. Then I connect those ideas to other notes when appropriate using links, folders, and tags. And then finally, I create something new by writing in Obsidian. So I call this whole process the creativity flywheel because once the system gets going, it allows me to create consistently and effortlessly. As long as I'm continuing to work that flywheel, I never run out of things to write about, and I never struggle with knowing what to say when I sit down to write. Now for this video, I wanna focus on just the last part of this process, actually creating something new and putting it out into the world. That's where historically I've used the projects plugin to manage my different writing projects. I had different folders for the different types of projects like newsletters, articles, and video scripts. And the projects plugin gave me a Kanban style board where I could manage everything by dragging cards to the appropriate column that indicated what the current status of that particular writing project was. I could command click on a card to open the note when it was time to write, and I could drag a card from one column to another to update the status. Now, unfortunately, that plugin is no longer being developed, so it's time to figure out a new workflow. And my initial thought was to try and build something using the new Bases Core plugin. While it looks promising, I'm not 100% confident I'll be able to do true Kanban style project management with that like I used to do with my beloved Projects plugin. So I set out recently to recreate the parts of the project plugin that I had come to rely on for my own writing workflow. Specifically, there were three things I wanted my new system to have. First, I wanted to be able to visualize my writing projects in a Kanban style view so I could see progress as I worked on my writing projects, visualized by the cards moving from left to right as I worked on them. Second, I wanted note templates for the different types of writing projects that I did to automatically be applied to the notes themselves with the appropriate metadata and sections when necessary so that it minimized the friction when it was time to sit down and do the actual writing. And third, I wanted the status of the notes to automatically update as the cards moved from column to column, which is necessary for me because I have a Hazel automation that automatically archives these notes once the status property is set to published. Now, while I couldn't just replace the projects plugin with something else that did all of this, I was able to craft a workflow that used existing plugins that I already had installed in my Obsidian Vault, and I'm pretty happy with the results. So let's break this down piece by piece. The first part of this is the easy part, a Kanban board to manage my writing projects. I knew this part would be easy to build using the excellent Kanban plugin by MG Myers. Now, while the Kanban plugin doesn't auto-populate the board based on the files in my folders like projects did, I realized that that wasn't 100% necessary. So this plugin actually lets you turn any note into a Kanban board and you can create columns or swim lanes for each of your project statuses. That's exactly what I've done and here are the project statuses that I personally use. Idea, when something is still needing to be developed. Backlog, when I've selected something to be worked on but I haven't started it yet in progress when I'm actively working on a project, review when I need to look something over or make a decision about something, and published when the post, newsletter, or YouTube video has actually been published 
and is publicly available. You can create these lists by clicking the three dots in a column and then selecting either insert list before or insert list after, where before will place the new list to the left of the current list and after will place it to the right. Now, once you have your list, you can easily add cards by clicking the add a card button in one of the lists. You can add text to your cards and also link them to notes in your vault by using double brackets. Once you have a note that you want linked selected, hit enter to create the card. Now you can drag the cards into the appropriate column and command click the link to open the note in a new tab when it's time to write. So that's the main thing I needed from this plugin. But before we move on, there's also a setting here to merge the linked page metadata in the Kanban plugin settings. And this lets you display metadata below the cards in your Kanban view, which looks something like this. And personally, I like the way this looks much better than the projects plugin. So while I do have to manually create the cards for now, I'll show you a shortcut for that in a little bit, the board does display some additional information from the link note that I find really useful when managing my writing projects. All right, so far so good. Now it's time to tackle the templates as one of the things that I really liked about the projects plugin was the ability to automatically apply a specific template whenever a new note or card was created. Now, fortunately, using the templater plugin, we can achieve the exact same thing. The key is a section in the settings for templater called folder templates. This allows you to choose a specific template file to apply whenever a new note gets created in a folder that you choose. I actually use this already for a bunch of different folders in my vault, so it was pretty easy to set up folder templates for all my newsletters, articles, and video scripts using template files that were already in my vault. Now I can just right click on the folder, create a new note, and the template gets applied. There are pros and cons with this approach, however. The good part is that this now fires whenever I add a new note to the designated folder in my vault not just via the plugin. The bad part is that it does still require you to manually create the note in the folder first before creating the card. And honestly, if that's the way things had to be, I'd probably be okay with that. It feels a little bit to me like intentional friction. I don't really mind right clicking on the folder and then selecting create new note before linking the note in the card itself. But we can actually create the note and the card at the same time by using a quick add macro. Now this part gets a little bit tricky because we have to build a couple different parts for this to work. So first go to the quick add settings, click manage macros and give your macro a name like newsletter. Then click add macro. Next click the configure button and then click the template option. This will create a new unnamed template choice option at the top. So click the gear icon to edit this. Now this part actually does not require the templater piece we just set up. We'll basically be recreating that with quick add, but it's only gonna fire when we run this specific macro from the command palette. Okay, so to set this up, first we need to select the template from the template path. So for my newsletter, I'll use the newsletter.md file from my templates directory. Next, toggle on the file name format option and enter double curly brackets, value colon, What's the big idea, question mark, double curly brackets. This will create a pop-up when we run the macro that gives us a prompt where we can type out our idea and it will be used for the file name. Next, toggle on create in folder since we want this file to be added to a specific folder and make sure to click the add button so the folder location gets saved. You can also click on the name if you want to rename this, for example, create the file. Okay, so now we can close this and add the second part of the macro, which is the capture part. So click on the capture button to create an unnamed capture choice and then click on the gear icon to configure it. Now first we need to make sure that we capture to the right file. We do not want to capture to the active file. Instead we want to capture to the file that we are using as our Kanban board. So in this example it's the newsletters file which is inside my writing projects folder. Next we want to make sure that we capture as a task since that's the markdown format used to display the cards in the Kanban plugin. Next, toggle on the insert after option, which allows you to append the text that we capture to a specific spot in the file. In this case, we wanna capture after the second level header for ideas. Finally, at the bottom, toggle on the capture format and use the exact same code that we used for the file name previously, double curly brackets, value, colon, what's the big idea, question mark, double curly brackets. 
The only difference this time is that we want to wrap all of that inside of double brackets, which will create an internal link to the file for the card that will open the file created in the first part of the macro. Again, click on the name to rename the step to something like create the task, then close the macro manager. Okay, next we need to create the quick add command for the macro that we want to run. So type the name in the text box, for example, newsletter idea, select the macro option from the drop down list, and then click the add choice button. Select the macro you want to run, click the X to close the pop up, and click the lightning bolt icon to make sure that this command is searchable by the command palette. So now, from anywhere in our Obsidian Vault, we can invoke the command palette with Command P on Mac or Control P on Windows, run the command, type the text we want to capture in the pop up for what's the big idea, and not only does the file get created in the appropriate folder, but the card gets created in our Kanban board as well. All right, so it's really coming together now, but there's still a very important piece missing updating the status as you manage your writing projects. So for that, we need another plugin called Kanban Status Updater, which is a very simple plugin that does one thing, updates a particular metadata property whenever you move a card. So go into the settings of the Kanban Status Updater plugin and set your status property name to the property that you want to automatically update. In this example, I just use the status property. Now, when you have a Kanban board open, you can click the run test button to see if things are connected properly and you should see a notification like this showing the number of cards a plugin found with the indicated metadata property. Now once this is set up, you can then move cards from one column to another and the status in the linked note on those cards will automatically be updated with the name of the column that the card was moved to. So because I have a Hazel rule set up that watches my projects folder and looks for status colon published in the contents and then moves the note to a subfolder named archived, when I move a card to the published column in my Kanban board, it now automatically moves that note to the archived folder. So from there you can choose for yourself whether you want the cards themselves to be automatically archived. I choose not to, at least for now, because I do like seeing a list of the things that I've shipped recently. So that's it. That's the way that I manage my writing projects in Obsidian. It takes a little bit of effort to set things up like this, but I actually like this even better than the projects plugin that I was using previously. This workflow really works for me. And if you want more Obsidian tips, you should check out my free Obsidian Starter Vault. It includes a bunch of Obsidian resources to help you organize, create, and optimize your notes like a pro. You can download the Starter Vault for free by going to vault.practicalpkm.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in another video.